Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason and I am your watch guy today. Now I have another first impressions slash unboxing video for you today. You will remember Chris, a friend of the channel from an earlier video he sent us that Aorus Aquastate, absolutely gorgeous watch. And I did say in that video that he had three watches to send me. Now he's been kind enough to head back down to the post office and send us this. Now this parcel may look like something you'd see in a narcotics bust, but he has ensured me that there's a watch in here. So we're going to unbox this today. Well, we're going to unwrap this and then unbox it and see what he sent us this time. So let's get this camera turned around and get into this parcel. Not exactly the smallest parcel that we've had on the, the channel. I did send his orders back in like the most bubble wrapped condition you would ever see. I mean, I just don't trust the Royal Mail. Not with that type of watch anyway. But, oh, a little sneak peek of what it is there. Chris had three watches to send me. Or oh, that he offered to send me. And I did say, send him whatever order you like, surprise me. It's like Christmas when I open things I don't know the contents of. This one seems to be his Hamilton Khaki Pilot. Let's get this out. Now, I actually have a Hamilton Khaki, but I have the Navy Scuba. Now, this one is much, much bigger than mine, but it is one that I've, I've actually, like, really enjoyed looking at. Let's slide this box out here. All right, let's see what we've got here. Oh, that looks pretty. <laughs> that is a big watch. It's in a sort of Flieger type of style. I love those numerals around the dial. So legible. That's a really nice dial too. A really nice sunburst effect on it. Okay, those numerals are sort of stainless steel in effect. Every time I've looked at these watches, I've always thought that they were just flat, maybe painted numerals, but they look to be applied now that I look at them again. I love the curvature of this case, the way that the uh, crown guards come up and meet the actual crown. Very functional piece, that. Let's get this off the cushion. I'm a big fan of Hamilton watches. I really like a lot of the pieces that they do. I think they offer really nice classic styling. I've always wanted one of their uh, khaki field watches. And this comes on a leather strap that feels really good quality, to be fair. Pilot style strap looks to be top quality one as you'd expect i think these fall around the 700 pound mark uh i'm not sure about the exact model number of this one i will have to look it up really like how the second hand comes straight out to meet the minute markers that's nice that's really nice you know i am a sucker for legible watches so this for me is probably the pinnacle of legibility isn't it really how nice is that hour hand? The way that it kind of just slots into the hour. That's lovely. So this is a car key automatic. It does have a Swiss made movement. Oh, that's nice. That is very nice. Signed rotor, decorated rotor too. That's a lovely looking movement. I'm not exactly sure which movement this is. Now, I'm probably gonna get this completely wrong, but I think they use a Swiss base movement and put their own little rotors on it. I'm not sure if there's much difference. Uh, so it's not really an in-house movement, but it is an in-house movement, kind of. Now let me, just for comparison of the size of this watch, I think it's a 46 mil or, so this is my long jeans next to it. That is crazy big, crazy, crazy big. Massive dial, really the whole watch is made up of that dial. There's not much casing. I mean, there is casing, obviously, but the dial goes straight out to the edge of the case. I'm guessing this is going to be a sapphire crystal. Really nice. I, I really do like those numerals, and I like the pilot style of it. Now, let me get the box out of the way. I will do a wrist shot of this. You know what? When you take into account how tiny my wrists are, this actually looks really, really all right on wrist. I mean, I have 6.2 inch wrists, I think this is a 46 or 47 mil case. So it's a big watch, it's a big boy. But that actually fits really nicely onto my wrist. I think it's with the curved lugs. 
I am wearing this on the tightest available strap option, but it fits well, it really does. That leather strap does feel like really good quality. I'd probably expect that from Hamilton, but it is nice to see that they are, they are doing what you expect them to do. Not every watch brand does that. So guys, once again, we owe a massive thank you to Chris for sending this watch in. It's been a massive help to the channel really because it is quite hard to get pieces of this caliber in on a regular basis. There's only so far that my collection can go. So it's really appreciated when someone helps the channel out like this. So Chris, again, thank you very much. I I think I'm really going to enjoy wearing this. This is a this is a feature piece. I I think it's this is going to stand out on wrist really, isn't it? It's going to stand out in a big way. So yeah, I, I like it. I really do. Guys, if you're new around here, please hit that subscribe button. We're edging towards 600 subscribers now. I really want to get to that thousand subscriber mark before the end of the year. That'd be a lovely birthday treat for me. Just for reference, my birthday's the 1st of January. So get, let's get there by, by 31st of December. Thank you very much for watching this one, guys. I will see you in the next one.